Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of the JDS Review. Today, I'm going to be doing an actual unboxing and a review of the new Axmeet hard case for the Nintendo Switch. A couple of months ago, uh, at the time of this filming, I had actually seen a ad somewhere, I can't even tell you where, it may have been Facebook, where the startup, the company that's you know, very similar to Kickstarter, but it's actually called Indiegogo, showcased a video of a new hard case called Axme. And this one is specifically made for the Nintendo Switch. It's supposed to be an, an actual hard case that goes over your Nintendo Switch console as well as your controllers that go with it as well. So I actually received the box today. I uh, was earlier than expected. I uh, received some emails. I had actually funded, I had actually pledged a fund to the program uh, right around the time where it was starting. And I went ahead and got it at one of the mid level ones that we, I can make sure I could early release as the retail price would actually be higher for those that are buying it afterward. Now, I will put a link in the description below, uh, which will have pricing information and all of the descriptions on there. Um, but my current Nintendo Switch right now, as you can see here on the video, doesn't have a very protective case. All right, it's got just a normal little you know, pseudo leather type of design here, which pretty much wraps around. It'll keep it from scratches and other things, in addition to the tempered glass screen protector that I have on the actual Switch. As far as the controllers, it's pretty much just rubberized portions on here, which does give you actually better grip and it control and it shuts the screen off when not in use. A little wear and tear there. Uh, but it, overall, it's not very protective. Now, for the most part, I usually do a pretty good job of taking care of my systems. But in the event that my kids or anybody else who was clumsy got their hands on it, one wrong hit and my switch is going to go kaput. So, I'm definitely looking forward to actually protecting it. So, we're going to go ahead and unbox the Axe Meat box right now and see what's in here. This is my very first time actually doing it. I'm actually not rehearsing the video. So that's the inside. That's the actual Acme case. The back of the box right here. It's actually got the information that you'll see. Armored split protective case for Nintendo Switch made in China. And the address is www.axmeatcase.com. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this is even pronounced properly. Axme, I've been saying it like that for quite some time and I have yet to find a single video anywhere else that properly has the right pronunciation of the word, so I have zero idea as to exactly how it goes. But as you can see, this is going to be for one of the Joy-Con controllers right here that's going to go on the opposing ends. And this is the actual Axme hard case. So it's, for the most part, it feels you know, very durable. It's uh, you know, it's not super hard, so it does give it a, a little more flexibility, which will make it easier for taking out. Um, so as you can see, it, it it bends a little bit. It's not hard plastic. It's actually quite um, soft plastic, but enough to give the switch a good protective on there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, smack it on there. Now, one thing also that they also did showcase, which is a big sell for a lot of people, is it's got a double kickstand on the back. So if you want to play your Switch, that's going to be facing down while you use the Joy-Cons, this is definitely the way to go. Because the Switch's uh, original kickstand on the back simply is not going to do the job for, for many people. I think most people would end up using a case anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and take off this not so protective case. Alright, so the switch is bare bones right there. Nothing on it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and slap this case on the back. Alright, now as you can see the top right there, you get the power button, the volume rocker, and there's a game card slot right there, as well as a fan, 
headphone jack. And at the very bottom, you've got your USB C type uh, controller case for, for the charger there. And we're going to go ahead and put the Joy Cons on there. Now, there are no instructions with the Axme, so pretty much you're going to have to just play with it and learn how to put it on. It's not really difficult, I just did it in just a few seconds. And again, this is the very first time that I am using this. Now, just having it in my hands right now, the way it feels, it feels very natural. It doesn't feel bulky or clunky like the original pictures might make it think. So from the back, you couldn't even tell that this was a Nintendo Switch. You would think it was something completely different. Except when you turn it over, you have full exposure to all the Joy-Cons right there. Now one thing so far that they bragged about was being able to take the Joy-Con controllers off without having to take your protective cases off. Now, I have had some other protective cases for the Joy-Con that I literally each and every time had to take it off in order to use it, which I found very annoying. So let's see if that's the case here. Okay, well this one is just, this one's got a little button in, in the back which is used to get the original Joy-Con out. This one here is on the back, it's giving me a little more difficulty. So it's probably just not put in all the way. Yeah, I probably just didn't have it in all the way there. Of course, I did slap them in there when, when the Joy-Cons were off, so. Yeah, that one's still giving me trouble there. So let's take the Joy-Con off and probably just wasn't all the way in there but the joy cons definitely don't feel bulky at all they actually feel quite natural the only thing that I would say is that if you're like me and you like keeping your controllers cosmetically clean the front of the joy con is completely exposed so as a result you're not going to get the same protection as as you would with these here now of course these are these are better for actual physical protection, whereas these are more for keeping them clean, keeping them sturdy, and just extending the overall battery life on. So let's go ahead, or shelf life rather. So I'm going to attempt to snap the Joy-Con controllers back on, and that's simply not working. Okay, so slapping the Joy-Con controllers on with the Axmeet cases not as simple as originally advertised. There, I had to just snap it back on with the case off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and power it back on. All right, and let's go ahead and see if I can get that. And again, I'm having difficulty with this left Joy-Con controller trying to come off with the case, whereas the right one comes off with no problem. You heard a little famous switch click there. Yeah, I'm not sure if this one... Okay, well, alright, finally it came off. Maybe we just had to... There we go. There you hear the infamous switch click. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. Alright, let's see how the kickstands uh, turn off. Because that, that was one of the biggest selling points uh, for a lot of people, I believe, was the actual kickstands. And let's see how they work. This one's being you know, a little stubborn here. Oh, whoa. Well, that didn't look good. <laughs> First attempt to get it out and kickstand already broke. Yikes. They're not going to like this review. But, okay. So let's try to do the little one legged kickstand. Because the other one broke. Probably have to super glue it or something or. Let them know that it wasn't very sturdy when it was put on there. I thought they would have used something a little more sturdy to let it sink in it. But as you can see, just one leg alone. And the kickstand's doing a great job. Um, so if both kickstands were there, it would definitely work a lot better than the original proprietary switch kickstand, which eh, doesn't work all that well. As 
most people, I've never actually used it, but there's the proprietary switch stand, which even as thick as it is, and as thin as the other one is, I do believe that the X Meets kickstand works a lot better than the original switch. That is, if you can get it out without it actually breaking. This is way more sturdy. It definitely feels, even though it's thinner uh, and a lot smaller, it actually carries a weight on it a whole lot better. Now, this one here didn't work so well. So, but overall, I would say it's definitely a uh, great case. Now, only thing is that you kind of keep in mind is that unless you're plugging into an actual USB cord, you will have to take this off whenever you want to dock your Switch uh, and view it on the television and play it rather on the television. You will have to take them off, as in which of course is not a big deal. Uh, it doesn't. It's not that di difficult to actually install it. So um, overall, I'd, I'd say besides the plastic that actually broke. It seems like it's going to be a pretty sturdy buy. Now, of course, this is just an unbox. This is an unboxing. So, unless I actually use it over a while, I'll have to do a follow-up video, kind of letting you know how I feel about it overall. Um, first impressions seem very good, except for the slight difficult. Okay, no, okay, I'm getting it now. Maybe I just have to wear the plastic in, and I wore that kickstand in a little too much because it broke. So. It doesn't feel heavy and clunky like I feared it was going to, seeing the seeing the advertisements on Indiegogo. Uh, but overall, definitely, I would say it's a pretty sturdy case. Now, is it going to actually fit in my travel case? Well, let's let's look and see. Right now, one thing I like about this other one that I bought from Amazon is that it can fit in my travel case. Let's see if this one does too. It does. It does fit in my travel kit. So, guess what? I think uh, I think I might be liking this one here. Except the broken leg kickstand that fell off that's on the floor that I'm not going to pick up just yet. But that's going to be my unboxing review, or should I say preview rather, because I haven't used it except just now. So you will be getting my opinion on a follow-up video at at a later time. But go ahead and click on the description below. That's the www.axmecase.com. And check out the pricing on there. Uh, shipping's probably going to be a little crazy at first because they're going through all their uh, people that, that supported them. Uh, and so, yeah, so I'll definitely be in, in, enjoying this one. And once I do receive the NS glasses, that's the uh, 3D headset for the for Nintendo Switch. That's also on Indiegogo. Uh, that one's been fully funded, and I've contributed to that one as well. I'm definitely more excited about that one than I am for the Axe case. But definitely uh, give it a try for yourself. First impressions are good. I will do a follow-up review to let you know after I use it for a couple of days, maybe even a week or so, and I will let you guys know. If you like what you heard, go ahead and uh, click the thumbs up button, also subscribe, and if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at, at the JDS Review, as you can see below, as well as on Facebook, and you can also send me an email as well of any of the things that you'd like to have me do a, a review or an unboxing video on. Alright folks, have a good one.